You ever get bored with the creation process? You just cut your camera on, you have a standard picture profile in there and everything's already kind of preset for you. Well, I thought today it'd be really cool to try out some F-Log and show you my process of how I edit that footage to get a look like this. I think this is something kind of standard and neutral that I really enjoy, but I've also wanted to start playing around with the coloring process and have more control of my video footage to give me more of a creative challenge moving forward. So we're gonna jump into Final Cut Pro and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step that process, starting with applying just a simple LUT and then how you can manually take control of the situation and do it all yourself. So the first way is to have some type of LUT loader. I'm using MLUT by Motion VFX. It's free, it's pretty easy to use. Basically all you do is you just grab that put it on top of the clip that you're wanting to do. You can load your own custom LUT, you can buy LUTs, or you could just use some presets they got. So for the sake of the video, that's that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna grab one of these, let's go with maybe dramatic perhaps, and we're just gonna see what it looks like. So once it gets it loaded in, now you can see that the LUT is added on here. So then we can go and control things like our intensity. So this is without the LUT altogether. This is with the LUT cut on. So it does have kind of that cinematic feel to it. Now you can do things like add in contrast and some minor little adjustments here if you want, if they're not quite strong enough. So that is one way we can do things. But if you're just going for a straight color grade and you don't wanna do all these extra effects and you wanna have more control over it, here's what we have to do. You're gonna start with your naked clip here. And what I would recommend is going and getting something called an adjustment layer. So what you do is just take this adjustment layer, we can pop it right on top of the footage. That way our effects aren't applying straight to this footage, they're going to the adjustment layer. So if you need to copy and paste that throughout or make any kind of changes, you're not affecting your actual clip. So now with that adjustment layer selected, what I'm gonna do is go down to video, I'm gonna to go to colors and I'm gonna select color board and I'm gonna drag that on top of my uh, adjustment layer. So then we're gonna select our color board here and we have our controls. So the next step I wanna do is go to view video scopes. So what this is gonna show me is three different look histogram looking things. So you have your red, your greens, and your blues. This is the RGB waveforms of your video and it's gonna show you all the information you need to get that basic edit done. So the first thing you can see is it is way lifted from the blacks because you want the blacks to be as close to the zero line as possible without actually going over it. So we'll go over to our exposure tab and I'm just gonna pull this slider down and watch as these go down and I'm gonna to get to where the lines basically don't go over the zero. Now if they do go slightly over, I would say it's probably because of the trash can back here and that is fine. So we're just gonna leave it at that. Now the highlights, they're already peaking here at 100 and we don't wanna cross that line. It's most likely because of the window back here. So I'm gonna leave those alone. But overall, I feel like the image is leaning a little bit too much to the dark side. You can see that most of this information is below the 50. So we wanna kind of balance that out. So all I'm gonna do is take my midtones and I'm gonna lift those up to try to create a little bit more balance between the scenes so that way it's not too dark, it's not too light, it's more just right. So with that, I am gonna pull my blacks down just a little bit more to add some more contrast and balance it out. Now, something else to think about, if we go to our saturation section, these histograms are pretty close to one another, but there's not really that much saturation in this image because we did shoot in log format. So what I'm gonna do is start pulling up the saturation slider just to kind of add a little bit more life back into this image. And you'll notice that the waveforms do start moving some. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of pull those around and just try to keep everything at a nice neat balance so overall that's pretty much it at this point i would close up my video scopes and right there we are so what i'm going to do is just cut the effects off and there's our straight log footage and then we cut the effects back on this is what we have so it does give that really nice kind of more of like that cinematic feel that overall nice look now we could go and do other things such as add some sharpening to this footage because with that log footage we are going to be losing our sharpening so what i would do is go to video all and then we're just going to type in sharpen and let's just go ahead and add a sharpen layer on our adjustment layer 
And then let's go to our effects panel here. And we can see that maybe 2.5 could be a little bit too strong. So what I'm gonna do is actually move that down to about a 1.5. Now, if we cut this off, you can see that the image goes pretty flat. We cut it back on and we have some sharpening and it looks a lot better. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video and learned a little something new. Now, please note, I'm not a colorist. I'm not a huge expert in, in LUTs and color grading and things like that. I just know what I can do to create clips that I enjoy looking at and making content here on YouTube. But I hope I at least inspired you a little bit to play around with your footage, try something new, and create a look that works for what it is that you're doing. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, be sure to create something new today.